The script takes all the runtime generated terrain data, meshes, textures, materials, and exports them to a folder with the name of the tile. Once that's created, you can drag the all the tile information from the scene into the folder. <clears throat> now the pre-generated map tile can be dragged into the static map scene. Uh, there's a close-up of a building, generated walls, basement, floors, roof, uh, all the meshes saved in the folder. And you can take a look at the prefab and the building details. If I hide the building, you can see where the map data was used to dig out the basement where the building sits. As <clears throat> the uh, roof mesh that was generated when I clicked that button before. And then the map floor tile, the alpha map texture, <clears throat> a little piece of uh, water in the corner. It was generated from river data. And then uh, after everything's done, buildings can be edited. The height change, each level is three meters. So if I set that to, to six, it should generate a two-story building. Here's a complicated building with 17 quarters, corners coming from the map data. Uh, it's got a flat roof because the uh, procedural generation had some trouble with the generating that roof. But you see, I could change the the height of that. <clears throat> yeah, too tall. I think uh, three levels is enough there. Okay, well, here is the results in game. Not bad. Steamer's Hess. Maybe they don't go there. They have its frozen custard, and that's a good place to go in the summertime. Yeah, this is not too far from my house here. Anyway, yep, as soon as the weather's warm, we'll be we'll walk up there. Looks a little different in real life, but hey, what the heck. And the canal, Erie Canal in New York. This is actually a um, little dock here where, uh, <clears throat> where boats can dock and get some ice cream. There's a bridge over here that's missing. Uh, I'll add that later. But now that I have a static map here, it's only about a kilometer uh, square right at the moment, but I think that's enough to for a demonstration. Yeah, that's where the bridge should be. One lane bridge. It's always a pain in the butt to cross. Well, there's two people trying to get over it. Anyway, not bad. And the canal house. Expensive fancy food. Oh, it's not bad though. It's quite an interesting well, cool. Well, that's it. A few other things to fix, probably. A Great Northern Pizza Kitchen. I don't think that's the right name. Eh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Close enough. Where's Dunkin' Donuts? Oh, bagels. 
Alright. Alright, that's it.